Badly bunches here, we shouldn't grab this one here. Just to give a shot, let my say to you. Sit right back and give us a few. Hey, the Broccoli Bunch dudes and dudettes. I have been having way too much coffee. Look. And it's only 9.48, and I've drank like three cups, so that's a bad thing. My left eyelid is actually twitching. Can you guys see it? Can you see it? The only things that make my left eyelid twitch is tuna and coffee. Fact. Oh, check this out. Listen to this, guys. Some interesting coffee facts. Um, it all started with dancing goats. Legend has it. Ethiopian shepherds first noticed the effects of caffeine when they saw their goats appearing to become frisky and dance after eating coffee berries. Pretty cool, huh? One more. Originally, coffee was actually eaten. African tribes mixed coffee berries with fat which formed edible energy balls. Just, here, look at the little dancing goats. They're pretty cute. Look at the little dancing goats. Dancing goats, dancing goats. Yeah. I got this um, information from a website called theoatmeal.com. Uh, I will put a link to it in the bottom. And I actually just uh, posted a link for it on my personal Facebook. And you guys can totally, like, friend me. I'm cool with that. Uh, it's just um, Justin Brockler. Uh, or facebook.com backslash justin.brockler. I'll put a, a link down in the, in the bottom. In the bottom! As you UK viewers would say. The bottom! <laughs> I just finished making a, a little spur of the moment clip um, called The Staring Showdown in House Dance. boop de boop You guys should watch it and favorite it and like it. That was really fun to make. I, I was like, you know what? I'm so bored. Michelle is babysitting. I don't work till later. I want to do something. And I did that. I'll actually put the link um, in the bottom bar. I have to work today. And I'm going to get hungry. Because I'm working through dinner. So I think I'm going to make a little break time snack. How does peanut butter and jelly sandwich sound? Yum. First you take a knife. A knife sort of like this one. Well like this one. You really don't want a knife like this because that'll just destroy your bread. So save that for when you um, want to cut your Thanksgiving turkey. Okay, first thing you do is you shake up your squeezable grape bottle, grape jelly bottle. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up so it's all the way down. Can I see if I can do this with one hand? Ah. Okay, and you squirt, oops. I don't think that's working too well, is it? You squirt the jelly on one side. About, you know, about that much. And then you do a little bit on this side. Just, just a teensy, teensy little bit. Just like that. Okay? Then, you take your peanut butter. Peanut, peanut butter, and... Okay. <laughs> take this. This is going to be very hard to do with one hand, so... I'm going to set you guys down. Here you go. Take a little bit of this. Chunky, creamy peanut butter. Mmm. You go over here. Take a piece of bread that has very little jelly on it and just spread it on. It's just like so. Just spread it on. Then you're going to want to take a little bit more peanut butter. Like so. Whoops, there isn't very much in there, is there? Look. Okay. A little more. I'm feeling very nutty today. Okay, just like that. And you're gonna wanna spread it just, just on the side. It's very important, guys, that you listen to me on this special tip. Just on this side, okay? Just like this. You have a little bit of the jelly peeking through there. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Very good thing. Okay. And then now you put the peanut buttered side 
on the plate and then you spread the jelly just like so just like so just like just like that okay put the knife right there then this is the most crucial part of all guys the most crucial part ready here we go very nice and gently just just drop perfect peanut butter and jelly sandwich perfect so you got a little bit a little bit of the jelly gonna ooze out there it's right there and a little bit of the peanut butter using that right there it's perfect guys perfect sandwich